People who do EDC are some of the most fickle people in the world. And by fickle, I really enunciate on that F. One day you want green, one day you want orange, one day it has to be Tanto, the next day it must be drop point. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna help freaking 10 of you peasants right now complete your EDC. And don't forget, I am the peasant in chief. All right, first question. How do you prevent crackheads from smashing, grabbing your vertex? Lately, they have been stealing everything from Hello Kitty bags to Gucci tactical bags. This comes from Evil Elvis. Well, Evil Elvis, although this is partially a joke, I'm assuming, people are starting to do a whole lot more door checking. Here's a video here of people literally breaking into my mother-in-law's Mercedes. I'm assuming they were teenagers, maybe, you know, just checking doorknobs, seeing if they're unlocked. But it is a real thing that is going on around here. How do I keep crackheads from smashing and grabbing my crap? I would just say don't keep your stuff in your vehicle. Don't keep it in your truck or your car or your trunk. If you do keep it in there, don't keep it visible. And don't be like me and don't make Gucci get home bags. That, that, that's probably a way to keep people from, from going all in your stuff. All right, next, Battalion. Great video, just incorporated a fanny pack into my EDC and having empty pockets is a game changer. Would love to know when you carry a pouch, are there certain things you won't keep in there instead just in your pockets? Well, it's funny that you mentioned that because whenever I carry a pouch or a sling bag or whatever, Yes, there are certain items that I keep in the sling bag or the pouch that, you know, that necessarily won't be on my body. And then there's vice versa. I call it tier one and tier two. Have you not watched my videos? Maybe you haven't. I'm going to forgive you. My tier one carrier items that I keep on my person, even if I have a pouch on me or a sling bag, EDC bag, diaper bag, whatever I'm carrying that day. Tier one of the things that are on my body. So a pocket knife is always on my body, whether a fixed or a folder. There also may be a knife in my pouch or my EDC bag. There, that means I'm going to have redundancy. If I don't have a sling bag, then, you know, I might carry other things as well. But if I'm carrying a pouch at a minimum, 100 percent minimum, I will always have two duplicated items, flashlight, pocket knife. Listen, you're, you're new to this pouch game. A few things of redundancy are OK. It's okay. Just do it. All right. Next. Do you think the 3.0 is worth buying if you already have the 2.0? Can't seem to replace my baby Yoda color. No. The 3.0 and what he's referring to is the Vertex gamut. The gamut is not worth upgrading. The Ready Pack, the gamut. You know, shout out to Vertex for sending me those packs. But I think that for just kind of like a cell phone, you don't need to upgrade every single year. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Maybe you do, boo-boo. Do whatever you want to do. But for me personally, these companies are always going to innovate. They're always going to come out with something new. But sometimes those innovations are so subtle. They're so slight. They're so like minimal. It doesn't make a lot of sense to pull the trigger. What I'm saying is you may not necessarily need the upgrade. You may just want it. But listen, if you find a color you like, you like one feature that's really neat to you. You want to be able to move that pull tab around. Spend your money. Just use the links down below. Use those links. I'll make a little bit of money. Use those links. Why does every content creator use this constantly changing camera angle shit? It's very annoying and doesn't look at pro as they seem to think, says sand sanctioned, I guess, with an X. Well sanctioned, uh, let me click on your videos and see exactly how you tend to do it. All right, um, you don't have any videos. All right, I'll give you my advice of why we like to switch camera angles as soon as you pump out a video. Okay, yeah, just let me know. <laughs> Got it. Nathan says, what do you think about the Elite TAC flashlight? Can I really cook eggs on it and start fires with it? Thanks, no. So the Elite TAC uh, flashlight, they have been debunked there's been a lot of youtube videos articles written uh, the edc subreddit there's plenty of places that have bought it tested it out it's not pumping out the amount of lumens 
that it purports to pump out. It's supposed to be the most powerful, the strongest flashlight in the world for 41 bucks. Come on, let, let, let's be for real. Let, let's be for real. So no, you can't cook a freaking egg or start fires with that flashlight. But if you wanna give somebody $41, I got a bridge I can sell you. Good review says, Mike, I'm looking at this bag in the 511 Covert 18 2.0, any thoughts? Yes, Mike, I've done an entire video about the Covert 18 2.0. It is my Urban Assault Kit. I like the Herb, I love the Covert 18 2.0. The only issues about it I, I have is that it's a little bulky. As Soon as you start to put stuff in there, it just like expands and bloats pretty quick. Also, the CCW compartment is not very accessible. So it does have this dual slide action where you can enter from the slide side and kind of grab the items out. It's not as fast as you think. If you're gonna, I wouldn't off body carry with the Covert. I would keep extra mags in there. But other than that, man, that, that's a pretty nice bag. It's kind of pricey though. I think you can look at some competitors. I don't know if I would get the Covert. Maybe maybe if they come out with a 3.0, you can maybe lean back and grab that one for a discount. Next, Nate says, can I ask you, what do you mainly do for work? Nate, you want me to dox myself, sir? You want me to just put it all out there? You want me to just put my balls out there? Just hang out, rock out with my cock out? You want me to just put it all out there? Pause. I'm an analyst. I just analyze shit. Just an analyst. I'm also a professor. That... That's about it. Next one here. This one's coming in from Brian. Are you carrying a boomstick? Yes, of course, I'm carrying a boomstick. However, I think that YouTube is legitly shadow banning channels that show boomsticks, even if those boomsticks are not armed, no round in chamber, you're not pointing it towards the camera. I just, you know, I saw my boy Psy Talent. It looks like that his channel got shadow banned last year. And I showed a boomstick a few times on live streams and my subscriber count seemed to slow down randomly. And I, I didn't do anything different. I'm still pumping out the fantastic uh, content. Uh, pat myself on the back. Give me a goddamn attaboy in the chat for pumping out this content. Still pumping out, uh, you know, the same number of videos. And all of a sudden it kind of dropped. So... Yes, I am carrying a boomstick, but no, I don't show it on YouTube, at least not for now, until I can just completely understand this freaking firearm policy for YouTube. Maybe I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So for now, I'm just going to continue to let you know that yes, I'm always strapped. Next, we have Alan. Hey, I'm pretty new to your channel, but I have what is probably a simple question for you to answer. Well, shoot, Alan. Have you done or will you do a video that I can say that is all gear from veteran owned companies? I'm talking about packs, pouches, knives, mini pry bars, keychains, whatever else you would feel should be mentioned in that video. I've enjoyed your videos and content as I'm honestly, your honesty about products. Well, Alan, thank you for the question. Long winded question, sir, but thank you nonetheless. Two things, first off, Join my Discord. Link is in the description. I have a section that's called video suggestions. Put, you know, just freaking regurgitate, just, just freaking pump it all out right there in that section. Let me know what you're interested in me doing there. That will give me your video ideas. And, you know, put it on a YouTube content. It can get lost in the sauce. I just happened to see this question. That That's the first one. Second of all, I've done plenty of videos on Made in America carries and whether it be under $100, under $200. I've done an entire Made in America giveaway where I had tons of companies that make products in America give away stuff. I think when I crossed five or 10,000 subscribers. The thing is, is I could do a video about veteran owned companies, but I am a vet myself and I know other people that have veteran owned companies. Is your goal to support, support the veteran owned company or to support the manufacturing of products? Because a lot of us, you know, we're going to source stuff from overseas and if you're okay with that maybe but am i going to do a whole video about it i just i don't know man that's that's a big squeeze that's a lot of freaking research alan can i hire you sir can i hire you i just need you to i just need you to research everything from beginning to end and write a white paper matter of fact don't don't use freaking chat chat gpt i need you to actually do the freaking research all right last question nick says where do you keep a tourniquet and chest sales nick Sir, I did two videos. Did you not listen? Put your goddamn listening ears on. This video that you commented on, sir, goddamn knife hand, are you listening? This video is a DIY ouchie 
Boo Boo Kid. Ouchie Boo Boos have nothing to do with tourniquets, sunken chest wounds, major lacerations. No, no, not, none of that crap is in this kit. My trauma kit is the other what a slider. And I also have bags from Band Quest for trauma kits that's in my truck, sir. Sir, I, I invite you to explore the entire channel before you just assume I don't have everything that is needed in my med kit. Looks like I've helped a lot of you peasants today. I'm feeling like learning has occurred. If I helped you out, put learning has occurred in chat even if i didn't help you out put learning has occurred in chat or you can click that button that has a heart with a dollar symbol that says super thanks you can send me money that way you don't want to do either one of those just like the video we appreciate that that's all i got yep get out of here